Donald Trump might have just seriously pissed off China. Triggered a diplomatic showdown with China of this phone call. Well, I think the biggest question is wh wh whether it was an accident or whether it was something that he did intentionally. Now, that this is like nothing we've ever seen before. I mean, we knew that by the end of the campaign, but the question is what kind of president would Donald Trump be? And wow, I mean, it's almost hard to wrap your mind around. Really disastrously bad move was his call with the Taiwanese leader. And not because he accepted the call. I think that he should absolutely, as Ambassador Bolton said earlier this morning, speak to whatever foreign leaders he wants to. The problem for me is that he inadvertently acknowledged their national sovereignty, which is not something that's in the United States national security interest. And he did that when he referred to them as a country and referred to their leader as a president. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump has underscored the need for closer relations between the United States and Taiwan. During the conversation, the two sides highlighted the importance of closer economic, political and security ties. Trump also congratulated Tsai Ing-wen on her election as Taiwan's president earlier this year. China's foreign minister has reacted to the phone call, saying that he hopes Beijing's relations with Washington won't be interfered with or damaged. By accident or by design, Trump seems to be the first U.S. leader to formally communicate with the Taiwanese president in over 30 years. The president-elect has been fielding phone calls left and right from world leaders around the globe. Trump had a call with Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen on Friday. But Jeff, nobody did it as president-elect. This is ridiculous. Ronald, nobody. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan did the same in his very first press conference with China, with the, uh, in terms of the Soviet Union. But and Jeffrey, of course, President Obama has just reversed policy. He discussed policy it with somebody Cuba. first and maybe like met and met and hurt. You know, we, we're talking about 40 years of diplomacy. I think he knows exactly what he's doing at this point. I, I don't believe the critics who say um, that Mr. Trump is so ignorant at this point that he would sort of take calls willy-nilly. I think he knows exactly what he's doing, but I disagree with his decision is what I'm saying. And I think that the problem okay, here... Okay, so why? Because the problem with acknowledging Taiwanese sovereignty at this stage is that it deeply angers China. And I don't care about China's feelings. What I care about are our, our national security interests. We need the Chinese to help hedge against North Korea's nuclear program, and we need the Chinese to not sell off the billions of dollars of U.S. debt that they currently hold because that would precipitate a financial crisis.